Hey, a huge welcome to Steve's Kitchen. I had a roast chicken yesterday. We've got a little bit left over. I generally always have some dried noodles in the house. I've got some ramen here. We're gonna take these noodles, the chicken, and a few extra ingredients and make the most delicious miso soup. Come on, let me show you how. Now the beauty of this dish is its simplicity. We're just gonna take 250 grams, that's about half a pound of those ramen noodles, and I'm gonna put them into boiling water and cook them just for two minutes, no longer, or follow the instructions on your pack. Now whilst the ramen noodles cook, we're just gonna take a little bit of fresh ginger, and we're just going to slice it up into little matchsticks. And we're looking to get little julienne strips like that. I'm also going to be adding in this wonderful broccolini plant. I'm just going to be breaking off the little tips like this and adding it to my soup. And I've got my chicken here as well. This is chicken breast, which I'm just breaking into little shreds like that. I'm also going to take some spring onions, which I'm just going to slice up finely. And I'm going to be using these wonderful gnocchi mushrooms. Now you can get these in a lot of the Asian stores and they mimic the little ginger strips that I'm using. They look delicious in the soup. Now, as soon as those ramen are cooked, we're just going to drain off the water and I'm going to divide these up into four bowls, so about equal portions. Now, a quick rinse out of that pan and I'm just going to put a litre of stock in here. That's about four cups of chicken stock. Then over to the stove and we'll just bring this up to the boil. Now, as your chicken stock comes up to a boil, we want to take quarter of a cup of miso. I've got a red miso here. I'm just going to pop that in and we're going to dissolve that down in the chicken stock. Then into that stock, I'm going to add my broccolini. And we're just going to cook this for a couple of minutes, along with those little juliennes of ginger. We don't want to overcook them just until they're tender. And now we're ready to plate up. I'm going to take some of these shredded pieces of chicken here. I'm just going to lay them across the top of the noodles. I'm also going to pop some of the gnocchi mushrooms on top. I'm going to garnish that with some of my spring onions or shallots, whatever you like to call them. And then we bring our broth over from the side. I'm gonna lift some of those vegetables out and pop them in the bowl. And then we're gonna pour some of the broth over the top of the noodles. And if you like a little bit of nori seaweed, just drop some flakes over the top of that. Now that little broccolini had a flour on top. I've popped that one on the top there. And there you have that wonderful bowl of chicken soup with that miso and all the flavors in there. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. So let's go for a taste test. I know this is gonna taste delicious. It smells fantastic and it's healthy too. So here goes. Oh. What better way to finish up some cold chicken from the day before making a wonderful miso soup like this. It is fantastic. The ramen noodles are just perfectly cooked. I'm gonna enjoy this one. If you've enjoyed it, please share the love, give the thumbs up. I'll see you next time. Take care. Now I've got to eat these while they're still warm, so you guys get off and if you want to make it yourself, I'd love to hear down below if you have done. Please subscribe to the channel, I'll leave a couple of links to some other videos here. Be good, see you next time.